Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how cell phone alerts work. Personally, I've been studying alerting systems like the emergency alert system, the wireless emergency alert system, and even other alerting systems in foreign countries. Okay, now this is a question I don't think people are asking enough. Is the emergency alert system really automated? Well, at least when it comes to the circumstances of the United States. And the answer is yes and no. Despite what may be said in the media when it comes to the emergency alert system, it's not fully automated. There's still a button that needs to be pressed in order for alerts to act. And even in the wireless emergency alert system's case, even then, messages are still usually manually typed rather than them being automated messages that were coded into the system beforehand. When it comes to cell phone alerts, the only alerts that are really automated, or at least closest to automated, are weather alerts, which are sent out by the National Weather Service. Even then, there are still particular counties that need to be assigned to the specific alert. And then there are still other manual things that need to be put in the alerts. For example, when the storm was spotted or sighted, or when evidence of a storm brewing on a radar was sighted. So what I'll say is that the system definitely has become more automated, but it's not fully automated. In fact, if anything, it's mostly manual. Now, when I say these alerts are mostly manual, what I mean is the actual alerts that are manual. And what I mean by actual alerts are alerts that are sent out to cell phones for actual emergencies. When it comes to tests, however, it's a different story. The reason being is that tests are scheduled, and the text that are going to be put into said test alerts are also scheduled, scripted, and planned. For example, the image of the alert that you're seeing on your screen now. That is what presidential alerts looked like on older versions of iOS. This was demonstrated back in 2018 when the first presidential alert was sent out via wireless emergency alert system in U.S. history. All right, so how are emergency alerts actually received on cell phones. They are actually received by software on your service provider. In the US, this specific software comes in three versions. Now, this software actually kind of works like the 911 phone system in the US, where it will transfer you to the 911 phone service in your region. Where the emergency alerts you receive via text message are transmitted into a window or tab on the top or middle of your screen that will interrupt whatever you're doing. Yes, I know, these can be very annoying, but hey, an emergency is an emergency. It's more important. And most alerts on the wireless emergency alert system are able to be turned off in settings on your cell phone. The only alerts that cannot be turned off in accordance with federal law are presidential alerts. Fun fact, 
The alert tone that you receive on your cell phone when receiving emergency alerts is the same alert tone that you received on the emergency broadcast system decades ago, which was the second emergency alerting system for television in the United States. The first was Conrad.